What is up, y'all? Welcome back to our talk session tonight. And I know we are so excited to have this another session. But before we discuss this two module tonight, okay, I just want to appreciate those who subscribe to this channel. I know um, I'm not trying to be a YouTuber, okay? Just to be clear, okay? It's just, I just want to explore, you know, uh, I am afraid to talk to the camera and I'm very vulnerable. You know, I don't know how to speak uh, straight, plainly, how to speak um, English. So I will try to speak Tagalog, Ilonggo, no? Hiligayno, English, whatever. Just, siguro just uh, to make myself funny, you know? And from time to time, uh, well, uh, as you all know, I have... Uh, I have a full-time job, okay, 8 to 6 p.m. So I do recording after my work and I don't feel tired, okay? I just uh, enjoy everything that I do tonight and hindi to parang pasikat or something, ano? It's not a show time. I just want to pour out my heart. Actually, number one, number one reason why I'm doing this is because my of my father. Of course, he died last year and, you know, I'm still experiencing those, you know, after effects of those emotions. And I love my father, okay? Uh, he, is, uh, he is my model as a how to be a man. You know, I credit everything that I have being a person who I am to right now because of my dad, because of my tatay. So I love him. I remember those times that um, while he was sick last year, I think also in last 2018, you know, his wish is to share God, share God's word, share the gospel of God through this online platform. But um, time is so fast. He, before he did uh, some video recording, uh, he died due to lung problem, but you know, um, it was so devastating with our family and si nanay na lang bilhin sa amin yung family. But you know, uh, there's a lot of reasons to move forward. I know it's so hard. Even my uh, uh, younger brother has gone through some, of course, all of us um, experience some depression along the way and until now but we ask God to intervene and I know some of you may be experiencing some kind of depression okay especially this uh, COVID season during this lockdown during this uh, online journey okay during this uh, financial problems with our families but uh, I just want to inspire you I just want to encourage you that um, kaya natin to guys. Uh, we've gone through a lots, uh, lots of uh, challenges. Okay, our country is not perfect. Even our schools, our family, you know, there's a lot of ups and ups and downs. But even as I talk to you about this uh, uh, topic uh, tonight, I know how I speak, right? There's a lot of things, but you know, hopefully you could get some substance through this uh, lecture okay so I, at least you have uh, some glance of who I am as your uh, millennial teacher and again before I start I just want to say I love you guys thank you I salute you for every effort that you did okay um, saludo ako sa inyo and yeah let's move forward we can do this together so let's start okay so there are two modules na i discuss natin tonight. Module 10 and 11. It's a very, very short ano lang, module. That's why kinumbine ko na lang siya. So for those who are first time uh, watching this video, again, the purpose of this uh, material is just to uh, share sa aking uh, business tax 42 na class. And hopefully, if you are not a student, if you are working, if you want to refresh yourself, no, uh, hopefully uh, you could enjoy and 
yeah, join in and lean in, okay? But before we start, I just want to acknowledge our book. So if it is your first time to watch this video, this is the book that we are using, yeah? From uh, Mr. Rex Bangawan, okay? Business and Transfer Taxation 2019, okay? Edition. Ito yung ginagamit namin na libro. So if you want to study more about taxes, especially madaming updates ngayon, di ba? Like yung train law natin, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, different kumbaga mga updates natin 2018, 19, 20 so hopefully I could help you just to give you again this is just an overview if you want more details of course you can talk to uh, ACPA or you can contact me also if you need some uh, of course mga financial ano natin, uh, advice diba? kung pwede natin masagot or uh, we could refer to someone who is uh, more uh, experience about taxes okay so yeah let's lean in and join together as we discuss our module 10 which is you excise tax okay let's start okay ano ba yung purpose ng, ano, ng excise tax okay puta tayo sa slide number three Ayan. yung purpose lang naman niya actually is of course to raise the revenue revenue na uh, government natin and to curtail the consumption of certain commodities. Curtail meaning just to, kumbaga, to control or to manage, okay? To kumbaga, put some uh, limitation, yeah, sa consumption ng mga certain commodities. Ano ba yung kailangang i-curtail ng mga products? So, we will uh, go over sa mga list lang, ano, para uh, mabilis yung discussion natin. And also, yung, yung purpose niya is to protect domestic industries, okay? To protect meaning like yung mga domestic, like in the Philippines, di ba madami tayong ina-export tsaka import? Minsan kasi, yung products sa Philippines is parang galing ng China, galing ng different countries, right? So, you want to protect yung domestic industries natin. So, dito na papasok yung excise tax natin, Okay? And in addition to that, ayan, or other, yung OPT, other percentage uh, taxes, yan, may excise tax pa na binabayaran yung ano natin, mga uh, entrepreneur, okay, businessman natin. Taxes will apply to certain goods manufactured or produced in the Philippines for domestic sale, okay, consumption, and to things imported. Ayan. So, excise tax then shall also apply to certain, hindi lahat ng services. May mga specific lang under the train law. Ayan. As well, ito yung deductible din siya sa income tax purposes natin. Okay? Okay. So, first part. Okay, first part. <clears throat> and, yeah, along the way, siguro madami tayong maririnig ng mga golden voice. Okay? Kasi it's, I think, yeah, 12 midnight na. And some of my students hi, are also kumbaga nag uh, susunog rin ng kilay tonight as they study sa uh, other subjects nila. And as well yung iba nag uh, Mobile Legend. So, ayan, shout out sa mga champions to, sa mga mob Mobile Legends natin. Okay? It's a way to unwind no? sa mga ano natin, mga stress ayan. Okay lang. So, let's go. <clears throat> so, sabayan niyo ako, guys. So, kung tumaas yung boses ko or kumbaga na, naging soprano or tenor na yung boses ko, just uh, type some bloopers there in the live chat natin. Okay? So, let's enjoy uh, enjoy natin to together. Okay, guys? Okay. Types of uh, excise taxes. So, actually, dalawa lang Ide discuss natin dito na types of excise tax, yung specific, tapos yung second part sa baba. Okay? Ito medyo madami-dami siya, yung specific tax. Ito yung tax na inimpose on goods or articles based on, saan siya nakabase? Weight or volume capacity or any uh, physical unit of measurement. Yan yung uh, tinatax, okay? Iniimpose sa goods. So, example niyan, Dito, yung alcohol products, di ba? Sino mahilig sa mga alcohol dyan? Ayan. Type nyo sa live chat, ano yung iniinom yung mga alcohol products. So, ayan. Yung, yung example natin, actually, madami siya, no? 
Ayan. Distilled spirits, ayan. including proof spirits, whiskey, brandy, rum, gin, vodka, fortified wines. Yan yung mga alcohol products. Also yung mga wine scents, sparkling wine, subject yan sa excise tax natin. So specific tax yan. Fermented liquor, yung mga beer, yan. Mga mailig sa beer dyan, di ba? Also, part din ng uh, excise tax, no? Yung tinatax natin. Tobacco products, di ba? Ayan. Tobacco products except stem leaf tobacco. Okay, ito. Tandaan natin yung exemption, ha? Ayan. Except stem leaf tobacco or tobacco by products which are to be exported and used manufacture of cigars and cigarettes. So, including tobacco, especially prepared for chewing. Yan yung exemption niya. Tama? Okay, so exemption na yun. And yung cigars naman and cigarettes. Yun yung <clears throat> example ng tobacco products natin. And also, yung subject din sa, ano, aside sa dalawa dun sa taas, diba? Alcohol, tobacco. Ayan. Next is yung mga petroleum products natin. Okay? Tumatapon pa yung gatas. Okay. Lubricating oils. Ayan, mga processed gas, waxes, pet petrolatum, petrolatum, okay? denatured alcohol, napta, regular gasoline, leaded and unleaded premium gasoline, evasion, so, ayan, as least go on, di ba? Yan yung mga petroleum products na uh, sinasubject natin sa excise tax. Okay, also, isa dyan yung mineral products, yung coal and coke natin. Other one, another one, yung sweetened beverage natin. Mga subject din yan sa uh, excise tax under the new train law. Okay? Imposes a tax per liter of volume. Yan. Per volume naman siya na capacity on sweetened beverages. The excise tax shall be based on the following. So, ito, ito guys yung uh, kumbaga based sa train law natin. Yan yung basis natin. Kung purely alcoholic ano siya, Uh, caloric, rather, caloric sweetener, non-caloric sweetener, or both, yan, 6 pesos per liter. Yan yung excise tax. Okay? And using purely high fructose corn syrup, and ayan, sweetener, 12 pesos naman siya. Okay? Parang mas mataas na, ano, na fructose, di ba? So mas mataas din yung charge niya. Yung exempted dito, yung purely coconut sap sugar. Purely, ayan, stable glycosides. Okay? Yan yung exempted. Okay? Kasi galing siya ng coconut. Siguro yung rationale dito, kaya exempted siya. So, syempre, yung dito kasi, yung mga sweeteners and high fructose, kumbaga high yung... Uh, production cost niya. Di ba? Sobrang taas yan. Yung nag invest dito, malalaking companies din. Unlike sa mga coconut, of course, years na yan nag-i-exist, di ba? Yung mga coconut. Kumbaga, it's just for mga livelihood program lang naman, di ba? Mga small uh, small planters lang naman. So, I believe, kaya in-exempt na lang siya. Kasi, syempre, uh, itatax mo pa, di ba? Yung mga small na businessman or mga planters. So, yan siguro, I think, kaya exempted yung coconut sap. Okay. Ito naman yung excluded. Okay? Excluded from excise tax. All milk products. Okay? Unsweetened uh, beverages. Okay. 100% natural fruit. Kung baga, wala siyang mga added, ano, sweetened niya, di ba? Sweetened beverages. Siguro sweetened Nagdagdag ka ng sugar, nagdagdag ka ng mga added uh, mixture para mag tumamis siya. Okay? Sabi dito, excluded to yung mga milk products. Okay? Natural fruit. Basta 100%, no? 100%. And meal replacement, medically indicated. Ginagamit siya sa uh, panggamot, di ba? Medically indicated beverages. Ayan. Coffee, ground coffee. Ayan, mga instant soluble coffee. So, wala namang sweetened, kung baga walang sweeteners. Walang siyang pampatamis. So, excluded siya sa 
excise tax. And yung second part, okay? Di ba, first part din discuss natin yung specific tax, yung uh, types of excise tax. Number one, specific. Yeah. So, we discuss it. And number two naman, yung ad valorem or ad valorem tax. Yan yung excise tax imposed on goods or articles based on the selling price naman. Yung kanina, based on volume, di ba? Or capacity. Ngayon naman, based to sa selling price. Okay? Other specified value of the goods exclusive of VAT and tariff and customs, customs duties if imported. Okay. Note, but in computing VAT on importation, excise tax and tariff and custom duties are, tandaan natin, included in the tax base. So, kasama siya doon sa uh, tax base natin. Okay? So, yan lang yung ad valorem tax base siya sa uh, selling price. Dito sa taas kanina, yung specific tax is based sa weight or volume capacity. Like yung mga alcohol, di ba? Hindi ka naman nabibase sa selling price dyan. Yung tobacco based naman sa volume siya. Petroleum, of course, mga uh, mineral products natin. And of course, yung sweetened uh, beverages natin. Okay? Ayan, to move further, no? ito yung mga excise tax under the ad valorem tax. So, <coughs> is one of the purpose ng discussion natin is to just give you some uh, overview, okay? Hindi natin i-discuss lahat based sa uh, uh, book natin kasi of course, uh, theoretically, uh, kumbaga naka-state rin dyan lahat eh. What's important is familiar ka lang kung ano ba yung excise tax, ano yung purpose niya, saka ano yung types of excise tax, ano yung mga examples, okay? Para pag nagsosolve tayo ng problem, how much is the excise tax? Alam natin na, ay ito, ad valorem tax siya. Ah, ito, uh, sweetened ano siya, beverage. Ah, ito, exempted kasi uh, 100% uh, natural uh, juice. Okay? So, ito lang. Ito yung sa ad valorem tax natin. Excise tax on distilled spirits. Ano ba kanina yung beverage sa taas? Anong, anong spirit yun? Ayan, alcohol products. So, distilled spirits din siya, pero may example siya, di ba? Whiskey, brandy, ayan. So, may, may ibang distilled spirits, wala siyang alcohol. No? Ayan, cigars, automobiles. Yung unique lang dito, I think yung automobiles, ano? Excluding kasi, di ba? Hindi kasama yung bus, yung cargo vans, okay? Hindi kasama yung jeepney, single cab chassis. I think yung rationale behind this, is ginagamit kasi siya sa, um, kumbaga, ginagamit siya doon sa uh, public utilities, no? Ginagamit siya ng public. So, I think, hindi siya kasama dito. Excluding. Na-exclude siya dito. Tapos, meron ding automobiles, tatandaan natin, exclusively within the free port zones. Okay? Provided purely electric vehicles. Okay? Ito yung mga update, guys, sa uh, natin. I think sa train law natin, um, ito yung mga uh, exemption. Ano? Purely, or kumbaga ito yung requirement para mas mabilong siya dito as excise tax on ad valorem tax. Hybrid vehicles shall be taxed at 50% of the applicable excise tax rate. Okay? And also, meron tayong sinasabi non-essential goods. Ano ba yung mga example ng non-essential goods? Yan yung jewelry. Kung non-essential meaning hindi siya uh, importante, di ba? Essential. Di ba? Non-essential. Kung baga hindi siya part ng basic needs. Ayan. Hindi siya part ng basic needs ng tao. Kung baga mabubuhay yung tao uh, kahit o yung wala yung mga non-essential. Ano yun? Jewelry, goods made or of or ornamented, mounted, fitted metals, ayan, ivory. May exemption lang tayo. Except surgical and dental instruments. So, yung essential siya. Okay? Silver plated wares. Of course, ginagamit siya, di ba? <coughs> Excuse me. For spectacles or eyeglasses. Also, dental gold or gold alloys and other precious metals used in filling, mounting, or fitting the teeth. 
So, ito yung mga exemption, tatlo. Okay, surgical, silver-plated wares, ginagamit sa eyeglasses, and yung dental gold para sa, ayan, ipin. Ayan. Shoutout dyan sa mga gold yung ano, pustiso. So, kumbaga, uh, hindi siya kasama dito na subject sa excise tax natin. Okay? Opera glasses and uh, how do you pronounce this? Lord, Lord Nets or Silent Chi? I don't know. Opera glasses, okay? Perfumes and toilet waters. And ito, number eight, yachts and other vessels intended for pleasure. Yeah. Purpose niya is pleasure and sports. Okay? Hindi siya, uh, kumbaga, non-essential siya. Unless sinabi siguro na vessel na ginagamit for public transport. Yeah. So, nagiging essential na siya agad. Okay? And then, uh, meron din tayong mineral products. Non-metallic mineral, minerals and quarry resources. Tulad ng marble, granite, volcanic cinders, uh, basalt, uh, tough and rough phosphate. Ito yung example ng mineral products na subject sa um, excise tax. Okay? Number 10, metallic, okay? metallic minerals, copper, and other metallic minerals. Ayan, gold and chromite. Ito yung mga mineral products. Ayan. And also, yung number 11, indigenous petroleum, including locally extracted mineral oil. Ayan, may exemption lang siya. Ito yung kailangan natin tandaan. Yung exemption niya, locally extracted natural gas and locally extracted liquefied natural gas. So, guys, during the analysis natin, during the study, tatatnaan natin what are those in general rule kasama siya doon sa list and also itong uh, exemption natin. Okay? Ano pa yung mga, kung may non-essential goods, meron ding non-essential services. Ito yung added sinama natin sa train. Yung sa train law natin. Okay? Yung percentage ng tax dyan is 5. Okay? 5% tax on gross receipts, net of excise tax, and VAT. Derived from the performance of invasive, ayan, cosmetic surgeries. Yung mga grabing pampaganda, diba? Surgeries, procedures, and body enhancements. Ayan, kung gusto mo mag, mag beautify ng self mo, no? Kung nakukulangan ka pa, ayan. Mga non-essential services na yan, ano? Ayan. The following shall be exempt from 5% excise tax. Ito yung exem exemption naman natin, okay? Oh. Before we proceed, okay? I have a quick question lang. Ikaw ba? Uh, you type sa live chat. Satisfied ka na ba sa hugis ng katawan mo or... Uh, tinatamad ka lang mag-gym, tinatamad ka lang mag-workout, tinatamad ka lang kumain ng healthy, okay? Type in the live chat, sabi mo, uh, sir, kulang pa, kailangan ko magpa-cosmetic, no? Or magpa-body enhancement, or sir, uh, yung ilong ko parang kay Sir LB, no? Medyo uh, blindness tayo, kaya malaki yung ilong, no? Or sir, uh, lahat, no? So, you type sa live chat natin. Uh, are you satisfied na ba? Or sabihin mo, ay sir, okay na ako kasi I'm wonderfully and fearfully made by God. O yun, di ba? So, different perspective. So, there's a lot of people na um, iba rin yung perspective nila. Well, we respect them also. So, part sila ng non-essential services which is uh, subject sila sa 5% na tax on gross receipts. Kaya medyo may kamahalan, di ba, yung mga body enhancements because may added pa siya, okay? May ina pa na excise tax, okay? May exemption lang tayo kung meron daw deformity arising from congenital or de may merong parang abnormalities sa katawan mo, no? Due to disease, ayan, tumor, virus infection. Of course, syempre, uh, I-exempt ka talaga ng government kasi they want to help you naman, no? Kasi hindi mo naman choice magka-virus ka or two more infection, di ba? Knock on the wood na hindi tayo magkaroon nun, di ba? Okay. Cases of treatments covered by National Health Insurance 
program. So, yan yung mga exemption na kailangan natin tandaan. Okay. Gross selling price of goods subject to ad valorem tax. Ayan. The price excluding the VAT at which the goods are sold ayan, or through sales agents. If the manufacturer also sells the goods at wholesale in another establishment of which he is the owner, the wholesale price in the latter establishment shall be the gross selling price. So, kumbaga, in short, ano yung, ano yung basis ng uh, ad valorem tax natin? Is it the gross selling price or ano ba? Is it excluding VAT? No? So, ito yung uh, tatandaan natin. Uh, I think there are three points lang. No? And the price excluding VAT at which the goods are sold at wholesale. Okay? If the manufacturer, yung manufacturer daw nag-sell, nagbebenta, nagsasell ng goods at wholesale in another establishment of which he is the owner, the wholesale price is the latter, yung gross selling price. Okay? If the price is less than, ayan, if the price is less than the cost of manufacturing plus expenses, the gross selling price shall equal such cost plus expenses plus a proportionate margin ayan, of profit. So, given naman yun sa problem, guys. So, all you need to remember is if less than 10, if the price is less than the cost of manufacturing plus expenses, okay, kung less than daw dyan yung price, ayan, proportionate shall equal to cost plus expenses plus proportionate uh, margin of profit. So, yun lang yan, yung gross selling price natin. So, sino yung mga person? Okay? Sino yung mga person na subject to excise tax? Okay? Number one, domestic products. Generally, the manufacturer or producer of domestic products yan, shall file the return and pay the excise taxes before the removal okay, of the domestic products from the space of production. Okay? Before. Yan. So, dapat before the removal, okay, kailangan yung manufacturer at yung producer or producer siya yung magpa-file ng uh, tax return and pay the excise tax before the removal ng domestic product from the place of production. Before lumabas yung product doon sa uh, production area. Okay? And number two, or letter B, sino pa yung subject sa excise tax? Yan yung owner or person having possession, kung sino nagpo-possess, sino may hawak ng domestic product, which were removed from the place of production without payment of the excise tax. Diba, number one kanina, before the manufacturer dump. Ngayon, kung hindi siya binayaran, okay, lumabas lang yung produkto doon sa area, yung sa production area. Yung taong yun, yung owner na yun, okay, wala siyang binayad eh. So, siya yung i-assume dito, okay, siya yung i-assume na magbabayad uh, ng excise tax. Okay? Kasi hindi mo nabayaran sa letter A, no? Yan. Which were removed from the place of without payment of the excise tax. So, kung bagay yung presumption ng law doon, yung kumuha na hindi nagbayad ng excise tax, siya yung uh, haubulin ni BIR. So, ang assumption, baka siya yung owner. Okay? Or, yan. Letter C, yan. the first buyer, purchaser, or transferee for local sale or transfer in the case of indigenous yeah in the case naman ng eto no natural gas yung first buyer naman okay kanina owner manufacturer di ba owner tapos yung buyer buyer okay for indigenous petroleum lang so siya yung uh, subject to excise tax okay yan yung domestic products how about yung uh, imported products natin yung importer Okay, importer share file, same din, ano? Importer before the removal, saan? Doon sa custom house or doon sa uh, customs custody, okay? Same concept din. And uh, the person who is found in possession of articles, eh? articles which are exempt from excise tax other than those legally entitled to uh, exemption. So, ito yung tatandaan lang natin, no? Uh, domestic products and uh, imported products. Diba? Okay. Another one, credit for excise taxes on goods actually exported. Ano yung sinasabi na credit? Yan yung uh, minimize mo, di ba? 
sa tax liability mo. Okay? Excise taxes paid on goods actually exported shall be credited. Okay? Yan. Or refunded, yung other term ng credited. I-refund niya upon submission of proof of actual exportation. Kung nag-export ka talaga, of course, exempted ka siya siya, di ba? Sa tax and upon receipt of foreign exchange payment. Na may transaction talaga na nag-export ka. So, it's going to be a credit. Mamay na siya or i-refund doon sa nagbayad. Provided, okay, ito rin, kailangan din natin pandaan. Provided excise tax on mineral products except, okay, yan, except coal and coke again, shall not be creditable nor refundable even if the mineral products are actually exported. Okay? May exemption siya. Okay? Excise tax on mineral products. Ito yung exemption. Coal and coke shall not be creditable. Okay? On actually uh, exported. And also, meron changes tayo sa train law. Okay? Ano mga changes na yun? Okay, number one, cigarettes packed by hand and packed by machines follow the same schedule of specific. So, in short, ang yung mga sigarilyo, kung pinakba yan ng, ng machine o yung kamay ng tao, minamano-mano, so same daw, sabi niya, same schedule. Same din yan. Yung schedule ng uh, specific excise tax. Hindi na separate. Sabihin mo, ay, labor intensive yung isa. Tapos yung isa naman, hindi. So, kumbaga sa point of view ng train law, subject pa rin siya. No? Same uh, schedule of specific size tax. Okay, excise taxes on the following products were increased. Ayan. So, dinagdagan. Okay? Kaya, excise tax, di ba pinatong yan doon sa seller? Tama? Or manufacturer? Or sinasabi natin yung uh, first na nag-buy? Tama? So, yung gagawin ng, ng businessman, papatsan, ipapatong niya doon, tsaka ipapasan niya doon sa buyer, yung uh, pinatong niya na excise tax. So, ito yung mga nag-increase. So, as you notice, no, yung sino may ilig magsigarilyo, yung mga, yan. So, nagano siya, yung mga nag-increase yung tax rate niya. So, nagbahal din siya. No? Manufactured oils and other fuel oils, Locally manufactured and imported automobiles, nag-increase din yan. Okay, excise tax. Except, di ba, may exemption tayo dyan. Yung mga pick-up, okay, pick-up truck natin. So, wala silang uh, excise tax based sa uh, train law natin. Domestic or uh, imported coal and coke, nag-increase din. Non-metallic and metallic minerals and indigenous petroleum. Ano pa? nag-increase. The following are exempt. So, naging exempt naman under the train law. Ito. Diba? Um, Nata, pyrolysis, uh, lysis, gasoline. Ayan. Production of petroleum products. Naging exempt na. Whether or not they are classified as petroleum. So, exempted na siya. Sa excise tax. Liquefied petroleum gas when used as a raw material para gumawa ng mga petrochemical products. Okay, petroleum coke when uses as feedstock to any power. Okay, uh, yung, yung uh, tanda natin, petroleum coke in general, subject siya sa excise tax. Pero, when uses as a feedstock to any power, kasi nag-generate siya ng power, eh. it's for the uh, public consumption, di ba? Mga public uh, essential services. So, kumaga, they gave... I think the government gave a tax incentive, of course, na well, exempt na natin yan sa excise tax kasi ginagamit naman yan ng publiko, di ba? So, yan. Yan yung, ano, yung exemption niya. So, other than that, yung petroleum po, of course, taxable siya, di ba? Pag hindi ganyan yung purpose niya. Okay? Purely electric vehicles, okay, and products natin. So, exempt na din yan sa excise taxes. Okay, the Secretary of Finance shall require the use of an official fuel marking or similar technology refined and are subject to the payment of tax. Ayan. As you notice or siguro may narinig kayo, di ba? How do the government 
paano nila i-audit yung mga gasoline station, yung mga petroleum uh, manufacturer, yung mga products. May nilalagay sila na uh, fuel marking yung tawag doon. Okay? Ayan. So, they have this power to put marking doon sa fuel. Okay? Pag na-check ng government na, oops, walang marking na ano. So, it might be kinuha ng um, fuel distributor sa other or mga, di ba, may tinatawag tayo na um, tawag doon. Hindi dumaan doon sa custom or outside siya. Okay, hindi siya dumaan sa fuel, fuel marking doon. Tapos magcha-charge si government ng mga penalty, of course. Okay? Yan, subject to the payment of taxes and duties. Yan yung way ng government para matrace nila na uh, ito mga fuel, minsan di ba may mga locally extracted tayo ng mga fuel. So, dapat dadaan yan sa government. Okay? Kasi mga subject yan sa uh, excise tax. Okay? Ayan. So, next topic natin guys. Before we continue, yan documentary stamp tax. Okay? Yan lang yung ano, kailangan natin dandaan. Yung, uh, during yung sa mga board exam natin, okay? alam natin kung ano yung uh, basic principle about the uh, excise tax. Okay? So hopefully, you got something, no? may overview kayo. And just read yung sa book natin, I know medyo mahaba siya. Uh, just go over it. I think this is the main topic that we have. No? Okay. Uh, very short, ano lang muna, short, uh, short break as I open yung uh, next module natin. Ayan, documentary, stamp tax. Okay. Sa mga students ko, kamusta na guys? Uh, yung iba sa inyo, hindi pa nagdi-dinner no? during our uh, live class. Okay, yung iba walang internet, yung iba brown out. Ayan. So, kailangan talaga sa online class uh, medyo mahaba yung patience natin. No? Uh, minsan, nagkikwiz tayo tapos may magchat-chat na ay, sir, brown out sa amin. Sir, ganito ganon. So, struggle is real talaga, di ba? Even in the past, uh, nung nagka-college pa lang kami, kumbaga hindi namin na-experience yung ganito. There's no pandemic. So, this is uh, first time sa lahat. No? It's so hard. It's so But, you know, uh, don't get stuck, okay? Just, kumbaga, minsan kailangan mo explore alin other perspective kaya? How to uh, stay positive during this negative situation, di ba? Um, there's a lot of issues, national, national news, international, di ba? Sa so, mga students ko, uh, minsan sila natanong na, uy, nakapanood ka ba ng SONA yesterday? Sabi ng iba, Sir, wala lang time kasi we are studying over uh, mid-summer. Ayan, exams namin. And guys, saludo ako sa inyo. And uh, konti na lang, okay? Uh, next week, I think finals na. So, next time is finals. Ayan, shout out sa mga readiness finals. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, continue. Module uh, 11. Ayan. Very quick lang about documentary stamp tax. Again, sa mga bagong dating lang sa live class natin. And for those na uh, nanonood pa lang sa uh, replay ng video na to, okay, we are talking about the module 10 kanina, yung excise tax, which is overview lang naman yung dinidiscuss natin. And yung documentary stamp tax, overview lang din. Okay? Yung mga reading... Uh, materials natin, kailangan natin i-explore pa ano yung mga uh, minor details. Okay? Minor details. So, what we will discuss tonight is just uh, overview lang siya. So, as you notice, I think it's just ano, uh, ilang page lang ba to? Nine pages lang. Okay? Very short lang siya. Okay? So, ano yung, ano yung documentary uh, stamp tax, guys? Yan yung <coughs> excuse me, Excise tax siya, a national uh, tax whose uh, purpose, of course, same din dun sa excise tax, to raise, ano, to raise revenue. Kailangan mag-raise ng revenue ng government because sa mga uh, naka-line up, no, ng mga priority projects. 
So you say ito sa mga uh, nakita ng uh, government natin. Uh, increase natin no? sa train law or kailangan to subject sa documentary stamp tax. Kailangan to ganito ganon. So ito yung main goal niya is to raise revenue. Okay? Deductible for income tax purposes. So pwede siya madeduct. <coughs> Part siya doon ng uh, sa ano natin sa expenses. Diba? Meron tayong mga taxes and licenses or yan yung mga uh, excise tax excise taxes. So, deductible daw siya for income tax purposes. A tax on transactions affected within the Philippines. A tax upon documents. Ayan. Ito yung mga tax sa mga documents natin na pinipirmahan. Okay? Or sa mga uh, tawag dito sa mga lawyers, di ba? Meron tayong mga uh, mga notario, notary documents, no? Mga loans. Ayan. Papers. Acceptance, assignment, sales, and in respect of the transaction, so uh, or accomplish ayan. Also, it is levied, okay, and collected whenever the document is made, signed, issued, accepted, or transferred, when the obligation or right arises from the natin, Philippine sources or the properties situated in the Philippines, okay. Ano yung mga documents na yan? Subject to uh, short, short na natin, DST or Documentary Stamp Tax. Okay. Yan yung original issue of share of stocks. Okay? May mga corporation, nag-issue sila ng uh, shares of stocks. Yan. Subject yan sa Documentary Stamp Tax. Ano pa? Bonds, debentures, certificate of uh, stocks. Kung, kung bagay yung mga stock corporation, no? Sales agreement to sell, memorandum of sales, uh, deliveries or transfer of shares, puro mga shares. Ayan. Ito ganun din, certificate of profits or interest in property or accumulation. Meron din tayo bank checks, drops, certificate of deposit, not bearing uh, interest and in other instrument. Okay, ano pa? Debt instruments. Okay, yan yung mga subjects sa uh, DST, Documentary Stamp Tax. Ano pa? Bills of Exchange or Drafts. Acceptance of Bills of Exchange. Kung baga, during the exam, I think lalabas to sa mga multiple choice. What are those documents na subject sa um, Documentary Stamp Tax? So, enumerate lang naman yan. Eh, diba? So, you familiarize yourself about the stock corporation, yung mga loan sa banko, but debt instruments, di ba? And kung may mga acceptance of bills, of exchange, mga bills, yun, in terms of mga exchange, di ba? Subject yan sa uh, documentary stamp tax. Mga life insurance, okay? Insurance upon property, so subject din yan. Fidelity bonds and other insurance. Yun. So, kung bagay, you have the idea, pag insurance, ah, subject yan sa uh, documentary stamp tax. Okay, Policy, policies of annuities and pre-need plans. So, indemnity bonds. Yan yung mga example natin. Okay? Dami, di ba? Okay. Sir, kailangan bang i-memorize? Kung kaya mo i-memorize, memorize mo. Or kung kaya mo i-imagine lang, ah, stock corporation, insurance, kumbaga, i-group mo siya. Okay? Like yung mga ganito, di ba? Kanina, mga related dun sa, sa bank transactions, sa mga life insurance, yan. Ganun lang. So, you have two options. Memorize this or uh, get the uh, groups. Kung baga yung ano ba yung mga main ano niya, uh, classifications. Yan. Bills of lading or receipts. Yan. Proxies. Powers of attorney. Leases and other hiring agreements. Yan. Ano pa? Mortgages, pledges, and deeds of trust. Ayan, mga deeds, deeds of sales. Kung baga, yan yung mga documents na sinasign na subject siya sa documentary stamp tax. So, may mga stamp yan, di ba? Doc stamp, yung tawag. So, yung iba nga, di ba? Uh, pinipaste pa yan sa face ng document. Okay? Iba naman, sinusulat na lang, uh, doc stamp paid. Ayan. 
Okay, certificates. Ayan. I think this is the last part ng example natin. Ano naman yung uh, mga documents na hindi siya subjects na uh, DST. Ito yung mga policies. Okay. Insurance din siya, pero made or granted by a, ito siya, fraternal or beneficiary society operated on the large system or local cooperation plan. Okay. In general, pag insurance, diba, subject siya sa documentary stamp tax. Pero pag nakastate sa problem na ito, nakalagay talaga, not subject siya sa uh, DST. Ano pa? Ayan. Pag government official nga, yung mga certificate of oaths niya, yung keyword dito, government, ayan, hindi na siya subject sa uh, DST. Kasi yung government yung involved, di ba? Okay. Papers and documents filed in court by or by for the national, provincial, or municipal government. Again, key term natin, basta government nga, hindi na siya subject sa uh, documentary stamp tax affidavits to prove poverty okay syempre ay prove na nga ng tao na ayan nga yung poverty di ba bakit i subject mo pa siya sa documentary stamp tax wala na ang pambayad yung tao di ba so except hindi siya subject sa uh, DST and also statements and other compulsory information required of persons exclusively for statistical purposes. Kung baga, survey lang naman yun eh, di ba? Statistical purpose and for the use of, again, government. So, technically, yung last four example natin, puro government yan, hindi yung pang-apat, poverty. Okay? Kung baga, you have that idea na, ay, oo nga, no? Parang unfair naman sa party na yun na eh, itatax mo pa. Isa subject mo pa siya sa uh, DST. Okay? Ayan. Another example. Okay. Certificate of assessed values of land not exceeding 200 pesos. <laughs> okay. Kung baga, how ironic, di ba? Alang itatax mo pa yan. Below 200 pesos na nga, di ba? So, no need na. Ayan. Borrowing lending executed under Securities Borrowing Lending Program of a Registered Exchange. Ayan. So, ito naman, loan agreements, promissory notes, uh, does not exceed, okay, how much? 250. Yan yung hindi subject sa uh, documentary stamp tax. Pag sumobra dyan, of course, subject mo siya sa uh, documentary stamp tax. Sale or barter of uh, or exchange of shares of stock listed and traded through the local stock exchange. Yeah. Stock listed and traded. Yeah. Local stocks uh, exchange. Yeah. Pa, no? okay. I think that's the last part of my examples. Natin. Assignment or transfer of mortgage, lease or policy of insurance if there is no change in maturity. Yeah. Highlight natin. Yan. No change in the maturity date. In assign mo yung mortgage, kumbaga there's no uh, change sa maturity, same pa din siya. So, wala na mga additional na doon. Uh, kumbaga transaction. In assign mo lang sa different uh, lease or policy, di ba? Okay. Fixed income and other securities traded in the secondary. Ayan. Tada natin, key term natin, secondary market or through an exchange. Okay. Yan, mga derivatives, di ba? Mga favorite nyo. Okay? Derivatives. So, hindi siya subject sa documentary stamp tax. Interbranch or interdepartmental advances within the same legal entity. Kung baga, nag-transfer siya, same lang naman na corporation. Uh, branch A to branch B. So, kung baga, uh, there's no uh, separate entity na nag-transfer. So, same lang siya. So, it's not included dun sa uh, subject sa tax. All forbearances arising from sale, sales or service contracts. Ayan. Bank deposit accounts without fixed term or maturity. Mga regular savings account natin. So, wala nang ano yan. Documentary stamp tax. 
by all contracts, deeds, documents, and transactions related to the conduct or business of BSP. Sempre, ano siya? Government entity siya, di ba? BSP. So, exempted din siya. Hindi siya subject sa uh, documentary stamp tax. Transfer of property pursuant to tax free. Ayan. Mga transfer of property uh, pursuant doon sa mga tax free exchange. Tax free na nga, di ba? So, hindi na siya subject sa documentary stamp tax. Okay. Interbank call loans with maturity of not more than. Ayan. Highlight natin. Not more than 7 days to cover deficiency in reserves including those between or among banks and quasi-banks. So, yung highlight natin, yan yung mga key terms lang. Okay? Hindi mo naman kailangan memorize lahat. Diba? Okay. Ano yung mga subject uh, dito sa, ano, sa documentary stamp tax? Ito yung mga tao na gumawa, nag-sign, nag-issue, tumanggap, nag-transfer ng document doon sa taas kanina yung mga <coughs> uh, subject sa documentary stamp tax. When one party enjoys exemption, the other party who is not exempt shall be uh, the one directly uh, liable for the tax. Okay. Saklap pa no? Yung isang party daw, uh, nag-enjoy siya ng exemption, tapos the other party who is not exempt, hindi siya exempt, siya yung magsushoulder ng uh, tax liability. Okay? Time of filing and payment. Generally, the tax return shall be filed within 5 days. Okay? Within 5 days siya. After the close of the month, when the document was made, signed, accepted, or transferred. So, within 5 days, after the close of the month, dapat uh, mag-file ka ng tax return doon kay BIR. Okay? And we are done. That's it. Inspire Nation. Okay? Inspire Nation meaning uh, it's just a uh, kumbaga parang uh, click word lang naman siya but uh, the substance of it. Uh, we will continue to inspire one another. Now we will keep that joy, that vibe. Sabi nga ni uh, Co-Kyle, diba? Shout out, to, shout out kay Co-Kyle. Sabi niya, uh, sir, positive vibes ang dito, diba? So, there's no negative vibe. I could share some, siguro, mga bad experience ko, but at the end of it, what's the purpose of that situation in my life, right? Like, uh, yung mga sudden death ng mga loved ones natin, pagkawala ng uh, mga friends natin, no? And there's always a purpose. And I know this COVID season, uh, as you notice, no, uh, meron mga relationship na na-reconcile kasi nga uh, nasa bahay lang, tipon-tipon, di ba? Yung mga uh, friends natin, hindi lang sa Facebook friends natin, sino ba yung real friends natin, di ba? Uh, Madi-discover mo due to this uh, COVID season. Sino ba talaga yung nagkikare? Or ano yung worth ng, ng kumbaga yung faith natin kay God? No? Kumbaga, there's a lot of times na pwede tayo mag-reflect nowadays. So, nasa bahay lang tayo, bawal tayong lumabas, di ba? So, we have those lots of uh, time. So, we call ourselves uh, Inspire Nation because we will continue to inspire one another kung ano calling mo, kung ano yung purpose mo while, while you are here sa mundo. Ano? Ako, as long as I have this chance to record, to share some encouragement with you, um, it will not stop. Okay? Even this, siguro yung talk subject natin matapos, we will continue to uh, inspire one another. Okay? Um, What's the real purpose of life? Of course, we are here, okay, to stand uh, in the gap, okay, to bridge, to become a bridge, okay, to a uh, broken world, um, Let's uh, spark positive vibe, okay? Let's continue to be a, a source of happiness sa ibang tao. And we continue to uh, strive to be better, strive to be... Uh, 
who God, no? Kung sino yung tinawag ni God sa life mo mismo. And uh, we will continue to have this uh, discussion through this online, through this uh, YouTube live. And uh, I am so excited. Even I, I continue to learn, I continue to grow. And I know, uh, same same thing sa inyo, you will continue to flourish, okay? In God's time, I know guys, you will uh, flourish, not just, uh, kumbaga yung main goal mo taga, talaga is to be a CPA. No, don't don't limit yourself. Mas malaki pa dyan yung, yung design ng Panginoon sa ating lahat, okay? It's not just a title that we are chasing. We are chasing God, okay? We are chasing His purpose, His will. Ano ba Lord yung calling ko? Ano ba yung uh, company na kailangan, kailangan ako? No? Someday you will be a uh, one of the top CPA, okay? And at the same time, you will be a humble, open, and a transparent one. That you need God in your life. We need each other at the same time. So, this simple overview. Hopefully, you got something. And uh, hopefully, uh, you, you will find time to read no? sa ano, ano natin ng mga reading materials natin. Okay? Especially yung book natin, of course. Uh, this is very organized. No? This is very helpful. So, uh, just try to answer yung mga self-test uh, questions natin. True or false, yung mga multiple choices natin sa book. And we will uh, spare time siguro to discuss uh, some of the answers. Okay? I think that's it, guys. That's, that's it. Inspire Nation, Tax Nation. I am your millennial teacher. Uh, I am here, no? Just uh, one chat away. Uh, last part na lang ng discussion. Uh, gusto ko mag-thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your patience. And also for those na nag effort to comment yung mga learnings nila through this uh, online uh, experience natin. Okay? Online session natin. And hopefully, um, you enjoy. Okay? You enjoy your... Uh, class during this uh, lockdown or during this COVID season, okay? All I pray, you know, my prayer to you is uh, to be safe, to be healthy, to enjoy life, okay? One day at a time, guys. One day at a time with uh, Jesus in your life. One day at a time with your loved ones, okay? With your boyfriend, girlfriend, okay? One day at a time with your parents, number one. Uh, Okay, we have time to play Mobile Legends. No, shout out Mobile Legends. Ayan. Mga Hambal ni Gab. Hambal ni Gab, ano daw siya? Champion. Okay. Gab, totoo ba yan? Champion ka? Okay. So, kung baga, don't, uh, don't take life too seriously. Okay. Laugh. Laugh. Kung baga, be happy. So, find something funny. Find something... Uh, si sir, uh, most of the time yung gift ko kasi guys, sorry ah, um, corny lang talaga yung mga jokes ko. So, mukhang trying hard pa nga, di ba? Most of the time. But you know, uh, try to uh, motivate yourself every day. But, okay? Yesterday, ito yung performance ko, paano ko ma-improve? Okay? Yesterday, ito yung study habits ko, paano ko ma-improve? Okay? Today, ito yung mga mga na-miss ko na time. Madami akong time sa Facebook. <laughs> dami akong time sa Instagram, social media. So, paano ko siya ma-improve? Paano ko ma-improve yung studies ko sa uh, integrated accounting, no? sa IT? Okay? Paano ko i-prepare yung self ko sa qualifying exam or sa mga pre-boards? Okay? So, dapat ganyan yung mindset na how to move forward. Okay? Ikaw, nakamove on ka na ba? Okay? Yan ang tanong ko sa'yo tonight. Okay? Nakamove on ka na, da, ka na ba sa mga past failures mo? Or bitbit mo pa rin siya? Mga extra baggage mo? Kung bitbit mo pa rin siya, like yung tax natin. Okay? Midsummer, examination. May one mistake ka, may two mistakes, tapos hindi ka makamove on. Move on na. Okay? Okay? May final exam pa. Yan. So, we'll try to catch up ng mga subjects natin. There's a lot of module pa. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Inspire Nation, let's continue to inspire one another, one another, okay? Maybe you don't need inspiration. Maybe uh, 
Uh, yung kilala mo, kailangan na yung inspiration. Just sending you some uh, virtual uh, hugs, virtual tap, uh, fist bump, di ba? I love you guys. Ayan lang. So, yun lang yung prayer ko sa inyo tonight. That you will come to know God in your life. You will know His will, His purpose in your life. And you will get to um, know who you are in God. Okay? I think that's it. And Inspire Nation, salamat. Salamat, salamat sa time. And hopefully, uh, na-inspire kayo in some way. Okay? I love you guys. All the best. Peace. Bye.